In a joint press conference this morning, Calvin Barrett and three former Dane County sheriffs called on the Dane County Board to approve a referendum to build a new Dane County jail. No sheriffs depicted a host of health, safety, even civil rights violations. Our Andrew Banstro is there and joins us with the story. Andrew. Eric and Susan, this has been a push that's been developing for a long time now. And now three decades worth of Dane County sheriffs are calling on the Dane County Board to allow that people vote on building a new jail. Two Republican and two Democratic sheriffs spoke in solidarity for an issue they say is bigger than politics. Come in, we'll give you a tour and show you the cell that we had to shut down last week because our resident took toilet paper and was clogging up a crack in their cell because water from the shower was leaking into their cell. Over three decades of Dane County sheriffs crossed political lines to ask the Dane County Board to approve a referendum to build a new Dane County Jail. You have four professional law enforcement officers who traditionally are somewhat conservative and, and viewed as, as the keepers of, of justice and, and, and peace, and yet we're the four that are advocating on behalf of the inmates that are confined to the jail. The city county building was built in the 1950s. They said at that time it was designed to separate inmates from the community, leaving today's inmates in six by six boxes with no rehabilitation or fresh air. We can do better. And this decision falls on the shoulders of 37 county board supervisors who on Thursday will decide to either continue their action paralysis or move this to the public's decision. The sheriff said the last time they were all together was for a funeral, which is what they're trying to avoid for their inmates. But for their jail staff too, something that Sheriff Ramish, who began battling this issue in the early 1990s, knows all too well. I got one of the worst calls a sheriff can get. Um, sheriff Ramish, one of your deputies, has just been taken hostage in the Dane County Jail. The building they described as better fit as a museum than a jail wasn't built with inmate supervision in mind. Limited space, too, means they can't provide vocational or life skills to inmates, a majority of which come in with addiction and mental illness. And those are the types of things that, if they're brought to us, um, it's our duty and obligation to try and treat them and make them healthy again, because that makes a safer community. If the board approves a referendum, it'll be in your hands. Dane County supervisors that have opposed the referendum, like Anthony Gray, say that outsourcing hard decisions to the public is, quote, wildly irresponsible. To that point, sheriffs, the sheriffs offered voters the chance to tour the facility and see the current conditions there, which they called unconstitutional. 